happy guy right now because of a couple things. First of all, I am at 240, or at least oscillating between 241. I haven't really hit into the 239 yet, but I did hit 240. That was a huge deal. I think it was 240.5. Woo! Celebration! But I could have hit it faster had I not made this huge mistake, which was I was putting milk in my coffee in the morning. And actually, I drink three cups of coffee in the morning, so I was drinking a fair amount of milk. Um, biggest problem is that you're not staying in ketosis when you're when you're introducing something like milk. Your body says, "Hey, there's some food. Oh, I'm going to use that." and it kicks into this new, another process. Even though I was going, you know, 14, 16, 18 hours without eating, I could have lost weight. I could have been at the 240 mark like three weeks ago. Um, so anyway, the you know, that's, that's that. Click away from the video if you've got the information you need. But there are definitely rules to this, and there are things that you're supposed to stick to, and one of the things I wasn't doing, and you know, I had heard that, but it's, you know what? You get into these habits, you don't even think about it. You don't even think for two seconds about it. You say, you know, uh, I drink my coffee in the morning. I have a little, you know, almond milk or creamer or whatever I do. I just do it. And you don't even think about it. Yet that was the thing that was sabotaging, um, you know, this weight loss. Um, you know, my daughter was losing weight, you know, twice as fast as me. And I was like, what the hell is going on? So um, I think that's the good thing. And actually the reason I found out is because of you guys. Um... Four people actually checked out my last video, which is a big deal for me because, you know, I didn't, I'm not doing these videos just for myself. I mean, it is actually helping myself. It's keeping me attuned to, you know, I go back and I look at it and I say, well, you know, uh, what was I saying? How do I ramble on? I found that out, you know, and, and also, you know, there's, there's so many other things, you know, put a light on so you can see my eyes, you know, they're the simple things that I already know about, but it's reaffirming the things that I, I am trying to achieve. And it's, uh, it's a creating um, uh, just like a feedback loop. So anyway, that feedback loop worked because you guys saw four videos. Because you saw four videos, I got looped into this thing about I, the next video after mine was five mistakes that people make on intermediate fasting. Of course, that guy's got 2.7 million views and I've got four, five. Yay. You know. But anyway, the point is is that that guy looks great. I mean, he's like, what, 27 years old? You know, if you're like me, you got a real life. You're not in the gym every day. You're working 12, 14, 16, I don't know. I work 14 hours sometimes every day. You know, if you're trying to do this stuff on your phone, you're walking, you're walking to work and you're just like, I'm gonna listen to this idiot and we'll see what this guy says. Because you don't have time. No one's got any time for anything, let alone, I mean, the great thing about intermediate fasting is you don't have to work out. You really don't. Let the body do its its job. I mean, I don't again. I don't know how long you should stay on intermediate fasting. Um, I've been on it for probably a month now. I've lost 15 pounds. Um, I'm going to stay on it until I hit 225. Um, but you know, I think it's important that you want to make sure that you are getting the nutrients you need at night. Take supplements uh, when you're going to sleep. Make sure that you're drinking lots of water. Um, I cut out alcohol. That seems to be helping in other ways. Um, I did go to an Oktoberfest. Be honest here. I went to an Oktoberfest last weekend and it was amazing, incredible, and I drank three beers. So, yeah, break, breaking my rules. But it's Oktoberfest. Come on. You got to enjoy life. Um, honestly, what is this diet worth if you're not really enjoying your life when you're, when, you know, I mean, dieting sucks. It does. It just sucks. So, anyway, I'll cut off the video here. Mistake was milk in my coffee. Milk in my coffee. Doy. Um, so you can't, it really comes down to it. You can't have anything. You can't eat anything on your fast. Drink lots of water. Um, it helps with the metabolic process. It cleans out the toxins. I mean, you've heard all this stuff before. Just don't make the stupid mistakes of that little, you know, I'm just going to have a handful of peanuts or something, you know, during the day. Uh, that ruins this kind of, the whole problem. Why are you doing it, honestly? Seriously, why are you, why are you putting yourself through the torture of, of fasting? It's, and, and again, it's not torture when your body knows, I'm fasting. All right, that's cool. So you're having your little coffee in the morning, and then you're eating at 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock at night. 
you're having your meal, you're going through the whole process again, you're losing weight like crazy, you're doing great, you can still function pretty well as long as you're, like I said, drink your water, uh, take your supplements, your vitamins, don't go crazy, you don't want the liver to be overworking. Uh, too many supplements are not a good thing. I've always believed in balance. Balance is probably the key of life. Um, one of the keys of life. Um, so anyway, I think that's good. I think that's enough. Hi.